Disclaimer, if you get queasy with blood, or guts, or gore, or mosquitoes, or scratching, or the Avatar movie, you would want to skip to this time code, which uh, uh, will be said in a different voice in just a second, because uh, I don't know what the time code's going to be. Skip to 8 minutes 20 seconds. Welcome, listeners, to Crossing Borders, a podcast not about immigration. I am your host, Josh, also known as Mythic, and this is my co-host, Sid, also known as Squiddy. Grab your passport and join us for episode number four, where we'll be talking about major inconsistencies, or also known as, I'm sorry, how long? <laughs> but first, let's catch up with each other's week. So, Squidney, or Sid, how, how, how has your week been? What's up? Uh, my week's been pretty good so far. It is the beginning of the week, um, but I do have a story. Ooh. Although, technically, it's my brother's story, but I was there, so it counts. Okay, sure. It happened today earlier today so we went to a skating rink <gasps> um so for those of you who don't know uh it's roller uh rollerblading roller skating uh essentially you put on shoes with wheels on them and go ice skating but on wood with wheels uh, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i know that i know that and so we went we went around in circles as one does then uh this the place i went to has like oh, we're going to play a song, and all the girls go, we're going to play a song, and all the boys go. They do things like that. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. one of the things they did was a race. And so they're like, okay, everyone clear oh, the, clear wait, the wait, ring. Wait, I can see where this is going. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. They're like, everyone clear the ring, and uh, we're going to do ages up to eight to go. You know, And then they race, and then they give the uh, first girl and first boy a little ticket for a free drink, like a free soda, whatever they want to buy. Oh, yes. very kind. Uh, and then they do have a bunch of age range. And my brother, they were like, okay, we're going to do 14 to 16. He's like, huh, I'm going to go up. I, I would not be surprised if he hadn't skated ever before today. So that was interesting. But he was like, I will do it. And he goes up and he's the only guy up there. So he automatically is going to win. Oh, right. Of course. Yeah. And he goes, but he gets second place overall. Um, And he gets his ticket. And then after he wins, oh, a- after the race is over, he like goes like ten feet and tries to stop and then just face plants on the ground. <laughs> it was very comedic looking. Oh um, no. Yeah, and so he comes back and we're like, Oh, good job. Are you okay? And he's like, Oh yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. And we're like, Oh, you're bleeding from your chin. And he's like, Oh, really? And he touches it and there's like blood. <laughs> Ooh. And play it off or walk it off or just <laughs> yeah. Or did he I, panic? I, he might not have noticed. I don't know. Uh, there's a good chance of that. Then we were like, Okay, you should go you should go clean up in the bathroom, you know? And so he went, he goes and cleans up a little bit, you know, cleans off some of the blood from his face. It wasn't a lot of blood. It was just like a little patch about the size of, I don't know, a border. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or if you're looking at the screen about the size of two Discord icons, you know. All right. All right. Uh, when you're in a call. <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> Very precise measurements, you know. Clearly. I just thought we'd warm up for the, uh, the episode. Anyways, uh, mm-hmm. so he comes back. And now that he's cleaned off some of the blood, you can see that there is a gash in his skin. And it was so deep. Like, uh oh, I was surprised it wasn't bleeding more, like, honestly. And he's just like, oh, that's, yeah, I feel fine. That's not good at all. But it was about one caterpillar long and a whole thimble deep. Oh, no, oh, no, no, that's bad. <laughs> and we're like, OK, I think, think we should go home now. We've been here for like three hours. I think we're good. And so we go in the car, put like some medical tape and then go and put like some cleaning stuff on it and oh, but I- i'm sure a bandit will fix that you know just like face down there it's good you're good you're yeah. good to go home. <laughs> no right now he has three little strips of medical tape holding it shut oh, and then no. a bandit across it to keep any <laughs> blood from getting in on anything but yeah that was fun and the whole time i'm like okay what's your mother's maiden name uh what year were you born what's my maiden <laughs> name you know <laughs> Just checking yeah, if you still remember stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that, you see in those dramas, those uh, medical dramas, they're like, okay, don't don't go into the light. Here, we're going to shine a light in your eye. And, uh, oh, no, his pupils are dilated. Oh, no, no, he's going into shock. <laughs> but, no. Oh, no. He, oh, he was okay. fine. Um, other than, of course, bashing his chin open. But That's good to hear. That's good to hear. He got a free drink, so. Yeah, I guess that, that was worth <laughs> it for the free drink. Yeah. That's wonderful. What about you? Me? Um... This happened yesterday, actually. I was watching a movie with my family, right? And um, yeah. we were watching, I believe, it was the first Avatar movie because we have never watched it. Ah. I know, it's it's bad, but I, we've never watched it. 
So it, we watched it for the first time. I've only seen it once. Uh, so. Yeah, yesterday. That's the first time I've seen the movie. And where I live, there's a lot of mosquitoes, right? Yeah. Mosquitoes has... This is their kingdom, basically. They, they, <laughs> they are the ones who rule. Them and cockroaches are the two bugs that rule where I live. Yeah, we talked about that a few episodes ago. Which is not good. Yeah, not good at all. And uh, if you remember <laughs> no. what happened to the cockroaches... Uh, couple episodes back did not end well same with the mosquitoes so <laughs> uh, no. mosquitoes you know they they have they sometimes bring dbd right mm-hmm. um, which is a, a sickness but um some, some most of them don't and you know we're watching tv outside not you know we don't have fancy tv in our bedrooms no just have like family tv outside <laughs> we open the doors or open the windows mostly through morning until evening yeah but you know uh when it gets to evening mosquitoes start appearing and you know they get in the house right yeah, danger and it's hard to you know kill them all you know sometimes you can catch them with your hand but not really and then you use these like yeah. electrical um swatters but you know they break after what like three months and they break and they break and you spend another money like eh, it's too lazy sometimes you just like endure the pain right yeah so i just let them eat me alive no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, they they bite us and you know it, it swells and it's itchy and blah 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 but you know we endure it because yeah. we enjoyed we sort of enjoyed the movie you know i got sleepy in the middle but it's fine um <laughs> yeah and i'm i'm the kind of guy when it's itchy i'm gonna scratch it till it stops itching you know <laughs> oh, so no. so i was scratching and scratching and scratching and it's you know while watching the movie on the sofa and You're making me itchy. After, <laughs> <laughs> after a while, I was like, why is it like cold and wet on my foot? You know, like what's happening here? Oh, no. <laughs> I, you know, I didn't realize I didn't feel any sort of like immense pain or anything. I just looked down and was like, oh, um, that's not good. So I stood up. My foot's <laughs> missing. <laughs> I stood up, grabbed some tissue or paper towels, I guess what Americans say, and yeah. wiped the blood off. You know, because it was pouring blood down my foot, like on, on my <laughs> leg at least. There was a lot of blood because uh, it's 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 probably little, but you know, since you're we're scratching, like it's like spreading the blood around. You know. Yeah. So I cleaned it up. Like, okay, that's that's not good. All right, back to watching. But then the mosquito bite my other foot. <laughs> so uh, I scratch, 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 scratch. I haven't walked since and then. And then, oh, it's <laughs> it's wet again. I wonder what happened. Oh god, it's bleeding. <laughs> it's like pouring blood down the lens. Like, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Better get the tissue again. Just wipe it off. Wipe it up. Yeah, I'm the kind of person who, when I get a mosquito bite, I'm like, I really, really want to scratch it. But I know I shouldn't, and so I just ignore it somehow. <laughs> I don't know how. I, I didn't used to be able to do it. I couldn't ignore. It's just too hard. More mosquitoes came in, right? So yeah. one was biting my face, one was biting my neck, one was biting my arm, and it was just unbearable. So we stopped the movie, and we just went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Th- that's about it. That That's yesterday i guess <laughs> we both got blood stories uh we'll put a disclaimer at the beginning of the episode that's like if you're queasy with blood uh skip the stories we'll post a time code definitely uh, definitely yeah yeah you know since you're editing this episode you'll do that i'll, I'll just relax here you're editing Whatever. this episode <laughs> no you're editing this episode no this is the fourth episode oh wait this is oh all right i guess i'll do that <laughs> never mind <laughs> Uh, uh, anyway, I mean, I, I, anyway. I, can, I can do a disclaimer right now if you want. Um, sure. Disclaimer. If you get queasy with blood or guts or gore or mosquitoes or scratching or the Avatar movie, you would want to skip to this time code, uh, which uh, uh, will be said in a different voice in just a second because uh, I don't know what the time code is going to be. Uh, but uh, All right. Yeah. Wonderful. Perfect. <laughs> anyway, <Anyways. laughs> let's jump right into... I was waiting for you to talk. Let's just <laughs> jump right into... Ah, oh, measurements. Imperial system. Measuring using... Metric system. The length <laughs> of a mouse. Oh, no. Okay. So, let's talk... I'm so annoyed of imperial systems. You can... I, I just can't... Fa- it's like... Ugh. Ugh, you know? It's, <laughs> I can't fathom it. Like Someone's foot 
it's for whose idea okay. was this? Whose foot are we re- using? It really makes sense. Think about it. An inch is a pretty standard length, you know. No, it's not. Uh, and then twelve of those makes a foot, which is also a pretty <laughs> decent. Length. Then three of those makes a yard. Whose foot? Okay. And also, whose yard are we using? <laughs> <laughs> and then you see uh, no. um, the most round number like the perfect number 5,280 that's how many feet are in a mile you see so <laughs> you go a mile you go 5,280 <laughs> feet which no, uh, 5,280 no, no, feet <laughs> no. why you know centimeter here, centimeter right 10 centimeters makes a decimeter 10 yeah. decimeters makes a meter yes 10 meters make a hectometer so oh it's, yeah it's <laughs> It's so much simpler. Why is Imperial... Are you telling me you can't do simple math? 12, 3, 5,280? Simple numbers, really. <laughs> Very consistent, too. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what's the origins of this Imperial system, right? Okay. It's probably like someone measuring... Okay, that guy's foot looks good. Let's make, let's make that be measuring. <laughs> that guy's system. foot is pretty good length. No, um, so it originated in Europe, as most weird things do. No offense, Europeans. Mm-hmm, Stay mm-hmm. followed. Um, I love you. Uh, not in a weird way, of course. But you know. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so it started. And they needed a measurement system. So the length of a inch, I believe, was supposed to be the length of your finger. Uh, which is, I don't know anyone's finger who's an inch long. So I have no idea how that ended up the length of an inch. <laughs> they must have really yeah. small fingers. Uh, must be. And then a foot is obviously the length of a foot. Although that's a pretty big foot, so very I don't big. know whose foot very, very big. was a foot long. I mean, some of my shoes have been a foot long, but not my foot. You know, um, like I- imagine, imagine the 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 one that was decided decided as the the measure. Okay, that guy he has small fingers but really big foot. Really long feet. So <laughs> his fingers will be the inch, and then the foot will be the foot. You know. Yeah, <laughs> I have no idea how a the- mile came to be. I can Google it real fast. How did miles come to be? Thousand pace. Okay, it was supposed to be 5,000 Roman feet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness me. No, no, no. Oh, why? So I guess it was involved with the foot. Um, it, it was but, with the, is uh, it's Imperial. Is, it, yeah. is, 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 is the foot like the Caesar's foot or like, I don't know, the king's foot or whatever? It it was eventually a king's foot. So after everyone's like, okay, like imagine imagine this scenario. You go to buy some rope, okay? And this guy, it's it's Bigfoot, literally Bigfoot, hairy guy that you get really bit low quality cameras of in like Montana mm-hmm, or something. Mm-hmm. Yep. And he's like, hey, I want to buy some rope. I want three feet. And for th- for him, three feet of rope is like 12 meters, you know, because he has massive feet. Yep. And then mm-hmm. they come out. Uh, they're like, okay, we'll go get you three feet of rope. They come out with a rope that's about like the length of a hamster because I'm American, so I use weird measurements. And then he's like, "Hey, this ain't this ain't three feet." And then he's like, "Oh yeah, look back here." And they look, and the, the, their feet measurer guy is uh, like he has just really really short feet. Oh, like oh, uh. and so that's <laughs> a really gross thing mm. though. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you can see why that would cause issues having inconsistent think, sizes. T- to be honest, we gotta be careful talking about feet here because some people might have the wrong idea of yeah, what guys, this podcast all, is about. It's all very gross feet, okay? No cute feet. <laughs> this podcast is about uh, me learning about American stuff and Squidney learning about um, well Indonesian stuff. Indonesia, we have very different stuff um, happen. This is an international podcast, everybody. Yeah. Well, read the description. And you listeners, you listeners who live in like Qatar or somewhere like that, you guys get to learn about Bolt and it's great. Yeah. But anyways. And you should definitely so pe- hit follow or subscribe yeah. on YouTube. Follow and On subscribe. Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> Google Podcasts. Whatever you are listening. Wherever you are. Whenever it is. <laughs> yes. Go hit follow. Hit subscribe. And hopefully you enjoy the content. Anyways, yeah. I do have I have watched um, a brief video of how a meter came to be. Yeah. So it's gonna be a fun story. So isn't it like French something? Back in the day, yeah. Here, here. Let, let me tell Way the back story, when. boy. Back in the day, the French were, <laughs> were like, you know, these measuring systems are, you know, that guy uses his foot, that guy uses his glass, that guy using um his inch or whatever that guy using his yeah. backyard as a measurement that's this is 
This is so Bands confusing. and parsecs. Yeah, different people are using different measurements. So let's make one that works for all. So they sent two guys, two French guys, to measure uh, or decide what will be the perfect um, measuring, measuring system uh, that can be applied in all, all the world, right? Because, you know, an American foot is different from an Indonesian foot, you know? Like, yes. yeah, you guys have very big foot. I am. We have chunky feet. Ugly smaller feet, foot, too. you know. <laughs> oh, no. For everyone listening. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Anyways, um, they need to find something that, you know, works as a universal measurement. So, they decided that, hey, yeah, you know where we live on, what we stand on right now? And the other guy goes like, oh, yeah, 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 the earth, you mean? Yeah, we'll use the earth for measurement. And the other guy's oh, like, well, crazy. how do we do that? <laughs> how do we measure the earth? And it's like, okay, so you see, earth is more or so a circle. You know, it's not a circle. It's a bit of an oval, but, you know, if we imagine it on a 2D plane, we'll assume it's a circle. And if we take the, the a, a fourth of uh, or a quarter of the circumference, um, which was around the area or the length, uh, which was uh, in control of the French, or like control, uh, French was in control of, uh, so they can measure that long. Yeah. Uh, in the areas they have conquered, and they sent these two scientists. So they are using like these binoculars and measuring triangle systems to basically map out from the top. For, yeah, as long as the uh, quarter of the uh, circumference of the Earth. So they use a lot of triangles, use uh, syncostan, trigonometry, um, Pythagoras to basically find the circumference of the Earth, yeah. at least a fourth of it, and, and divide that all up into equal sections that is called a meter. This project took them years, Obviously, because at the time, you can't just, like, drive a car or fly a drone. They have to actually walk and set up measurement stuff. They just Google, how many meters is the Earth's <laughs> circumference? I think that's what we're going to use for our meter measurement. Yeah. Right, of course. So they divided it up into, into these uh, lengths called meters. And uh, yes. somewhere in the process when they're, like, distributing um, the measurement to, the, like, their leader, like, hey... We, uh -huh. we found that this is the perfect measuring system. Uh, we need to spread it out to all the countries so all of their other places basically use their system, right? Except the pesky Americans, of course, as you can probably tell. Um, they're like, oh, like, like, nah, we're going to not We're going to not use the easier system. We're going to use our own hard and uh, inconsistent system. So, you know, we're, we're unique, you see. <laughs> yeah. And there you go. And so you, your country and a couple more stayed with the Imperial and most switch to metric. But here's the thing, the interesting thing at least. Um, somewhere within the calculating process, um, one of the yeah. scientists discovered that the meter, the meter that they discovered was actually just, just a tad bit too short. No. <laughs> it was just like, like a uh, few millimeters too short than an actual meter. Oh, uh, that's funny. right. But you know, a couple millimeters, if added up into a long, it becomes like a huge error, right? Yeah. <laughs> But he decided, like, I'm going to write that in my diary, in my own journal, and not tell anybody because this <laughs> project has took them so many years. These guys are all bad at math, and I'm not going to tell them. <laughs> I'm going to stay quiet and just roll with the a little bit too short meter. <laughs> uh, and there you go. You got the meter. And they have an actual, like, guide in terms of, like, there's, like, an actual item. That is the length of one meter stored in um, a vault somewhere. By the way, check out our Vault Hunter series in YouTube. Go check it out in the oh, description yeah. down below. Um, <laughs> Indubitably. <laughs> it's like in an, an actual vault. Shameless plug. Same with like yeah. Graham, I believe. Graham and what's the other thing? It's like Leader. Uh, there's a block literally measured at a gram. And that's like the, um, what's it called? The guideline for all other stuff measuring at a gram it's literally stored uh -huh. in like a vault somewhere i forgot i forgot there's like a whole history about it which was interesting oh huh. interesting well so let's talk um volume whose volume. cup are we using <laughs> whose cup are we using here? that's a good question because i don't even know how the the units <laughs> the imperial <laughs> units in proportion to each other yeah like 
<laughs> okay, use four cups of this stuff. I'm like, Shh, um, am I using the same cup as the the recipe book is telling me? Like when I'm cooking, right? Yeah. And then it's like, okay, one tablespoon. What tablespoon? Like I have so many types of spoon. Like there's big ones. Which one is the tablespoon? <laughs> you know. Well, there's a tablespoon and a teaspoon as well. And, yeah, and wow. it is, and there's a teaspoon which I bought teaspoons. <laughs> And one teaspoon with the other holds different amount of water or liquid in it. I'm like, eh? I'm sorry? <laughs> How much? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Isn't it like the smartest thing you've ever seen? It's, it's so smart, I cannot comprehend it. It's, oh, it's brilliant. Totally brilliant. Yeah, one teaspoon is about the third of a tablespoon. Oh, I um, thought it was half of a tablespoon. I don't know, I just Googled it. Have I been lied to? I don't actually know. Uh, oh, Right, of course. Yeah, Google's always right, you know? And then, like, a gallon, which is how much you buy milk for at the store. That's ah, obviously what it's based ah, on. Ah, gallon. Gallon's an interesting topic. Okay, so <laughs> here in Indonesia, we buy mineral water, right? And, you know, water yeah. system. If, if you know, if you have listened to last episode, which was about, you know, climate change and how dirty Indonesia's water is... Um, Floods mm-hmm. to fires or fires to floods. I forgot which one we titled it. Never heard of that episode. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have never heard of it, make sure to go check it out. Episode three in our <laughs> episode um, list. Anyway, um, <laughs> Indonesia's water is dirty, right? So we don't really do well drink out of the tap water. It's it's bad for your health. Yeah. There's actual living mosquito larvae in there. Ooh, fun. Um, a lot of germs. Not good. Not good. So we buy these big mineral bottles basically but they're called yeah. gallons or gallon in indonesian gallon um Aww. which is these huge actual huge bottles uh, which is actually measuring up look it up here uh it measures around five u.s gallons that's our gallon and you're you're getting on my case about being weird conversion <laughs> um yeah that, that, that's what i was complaining about so it's like these because as a kid, right? Yeah. You learn from stuff around you, mm-hmm. and you hear stuff from TV. Like, uh, I was, I remember watching uh, Tank, which was a show in Discovery Channel, I believe. Yeah. About people making aquariums, uh-huh. uh, and there's like this small aquarium they built, right? And like, this, uh, this aquarium totals to twenty five gallons of. I was like, how, how big is that? Am I? Is my eyes lying to me? How much water <laughs> is in there? <laughs> Because <laughs> remember, one one of our gallons like five US gallons. Impressive. So that's a lot of water. That's why I was like twenty five gallons in that one tank. Is am I am I dumb? Is my perception of water and volume weird? How big is that tank? You know? Are they dumb? What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is happening right now? And I discovered, oh, there is another smaller, inferior US gallon. Okay, I see, I see. I mean, at least they're not measuring it in, like, tablespoons. Yeah. That'd be funny. <laughs> 39,000 tablespoons of water. <laughs> 39,000 tablespoons. But yeah, I Google it. Three teaspoons is a tablespoon. Four tablespoons oh. is a quarter of a cup. Uh, 16 tablespoons is a cup. Why didn't they just put that? Okay. Two cups is a pint. Two pints is a quart. And four quarts is one gallon. P- p- wait, what's a pint? It, it, what? I never heard of that. Pint. Pint is two cups or half. I mean, a I've quart. heard of a pint of beer, but like what? A yeah, pint? it's a it's an eighth of a gallon, my guy. Oh, oh. Uh, the only place you ever see it is uh, like, hey, um, I'll have one more pint of whiskey. Oh, the finest <laughs> brew of the land, you know. <laughs> Not that I would know. You, you know, um, I hate that about the imperial system. Oh, you want this table? <laughs> Uh, you want to cut this table? You know, you need to cut this exactly one eighth of an inch. Why? One or uh, <laughs> why? Oh, I hate it so much. Oh yeah, we do half inch, quarter inch, eighth inch, sixteenth inch, thirty second. Yeah, inch. yeah, 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 yeah. It's so annoying. Like at least in millimeters, right? For like, okay, you just, you just need to shave off three millimeters. I can, I can use a ruler. I can mark it. Uh, one eighth of an inch. Yeah. Huh? It's like. One inch is 2.54 centimeters, you know. Yeah. Which is... Uh, why can't it be 2.5? Just round it off, you know? It would have been better. It's also a very small finger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's so well, annoying. Well, you haven't even heard of a smoot yet. 
Oh, I'm sorry, what? A smoot. W- what in the world is that? It's um the the um it's the height of Oliver Smoot in 1958, um which is about 170 centimeters. Uh, so or a sheppy, a sheppy is about seven eighths of a mile, which is uh it's the closest distance where sheep remain picturesque. You know, essential <laughs> distance. <laughs> Why? Who made these measurements? They make me so uh, angry. If we're talking volume, then we could do the barn megaparsec, which it's uh, it's pretty big. It's when a barn is multiplied by a megaparsec. <laughs> what are these measurements made? <laughs> oh, they make me so angry. It's about two thirds of a teaspoon. Like, 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 like. Uh, okay, if I'm cooking, right? Hmm? At least if it's like, um. I'm always usually usually looking for recipes in metric system because I was just I'm just always so confused if it's like <laughs> in imperial like okay three cups of sugar okay I have this cup which is small but this cup other cup is really big and then this cup which is just a plastic cup is, is that one cup or is is that big cup right there one cup or is it, is it the small cup one cup it's so confusing and then we have like um yeah it's fun three tablespoons of what olive oil or something it's like yeah is this the table is that a table is that a tablespoon or that is that a tablespoon is this a tablespoon I'm not quite what sure. spoon do i use tell me <laughs> yeah like, it's so i have this three gallon spoon and i have this tiny little baby spoon that holds three grains of rice which one is it hmm? tell me please like, yeah. if i have uh if it's on metric right okay you need yeah exactly 180 grams of sugar i know how much sugar to pour into my bowl which is on top of a, um, like an electric scale it tells me how many grams of sugar i have it's uh-huh. uh, it's so much more precise i'm just so uh, uh, i get so angry when discussing this <laughs> grams so frustrating we use pounds and ounces because we are cool and pounds is like what it's too uh, hmm. Two ki- mm. How much? Uh, one pound, two grams. Okay, maybe not grams, kilograms. It's yeah, uh, kilogram. pound is point forty five kilograms, roughly. So around two pounds is one kilogram. Yeah, but not exactly. Uh, it's like zero point nine kilograms. Not not exactly. Yeah, roughly. Kil- but and so then annoying. an ounce is a sixteenth of a pound. What? Okay. What's the um? What's the obsession? With imperial system with with one per eighth, one per sixteen. That is a very good question. <laughs> what is up with that? I, I do not know. <laughs> one eighth of an inch. One sixteenth of an inch. One eighth of well, a tablespoon. One sixteenth of <laughs> You haven't even heard about a stone yet. Oh no, what else is this? No Fourteen pounds. Fourteen pounds is equal to one stone. Why the fourteen why? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. And one ton, <laughs> one US ton is two thousand pounds. Oh, wait, but there's another metric ton different from the U.S. ton, and there's a, a, yeah. a British ton, I believe. The imperial ton is two hundred and twenty-four. I mean, two thousand two hundred forty pounds, and then the metric ton is two thousand two hundred and four pounds. <laughs> They're just like, all right, let's let's roll a die and see what the numbers land on. Yeah, I didn't oh, realize there it's... were that many kinds of tons, though. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, because I keep hearing when, um, like, watching shows on TV or something. This boat, this big boat right here, measures around 20 metric tons or something. I'm like, why yeah. the metric? And I looked it up, I'm like, oh, there's a lot of tons. There's actually right, a difference, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so annoying. In educational ah. videos, they show in school. Actually, in, in size and then Wait, wait, videos. wait. And then we have, we have nautical miles, don't we? Oh yeah, not a Oh miles. no, nautical like a miles, miles for the land, but there's miles for the ocean, the nautical yeah. miles. So one, one nautical mile, mile. <laughs> one mile is about zero point eight six eight nine seven six nautical miles. That's a very good uh, and whole number. I love it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Have we talked about how far a league is? A league is five point five five six kilometers, or, or for Point. Wait, what? Why is it? Is 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 the calculator I'm using wrong? Why is it different from your results? Wait a minute. How long was it for you? 
uh, 3.45 miles. Oh, miles. Okay, how about, what, 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 what how long is it in kil kilometers? Kilometers. Uh, 5.55 kilometers. That's weird. One it's telling me it's 4.82. Hmm. Well, uh, there that's must even be weirder. something wrong. C clearly, this person <laughs> who made this website is um a bit confused how to convert between metric and imperial um yeah measurements. No, they what they're doing. Yep. I mean, and then the radi and then the meta measure radioactivity. We sometimes use um bananas as comparisons because bananas are slightly radioactive. So we're like, this nuclear explosion was about. 60 billion bananas worth of radiation. <laughs> but why use bananas? I mean, I know they have a little bit of radiation, but <laughs> you know, 60 billion is a big... It's it's an unfathomable amount of number, right? Why not use, like, I don't know, worth, like, four like plutonium cores or something like that? billion bundles of bananas. <laughs> yeah, Am I right? And, 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 what, and what's the definition of a bundle? Then? Like, how much bananas are in a bundle to be called a bundle of bananas, you know? 10 bananas, obviously. But a New York second is the period of time uh, when the traffic lights um, turn green and somebody behind you honking because you haven't started going yet. Uh, okay. D did you know? Did you know? Uh, uh -huh. When 60 seconds passed in America, one minute passed in Indonesia. Whoa, that's crazy. That's insane, right? Yeah. Uh, that's like time that's... bending. Whew. Did you know a pirate ninja? Is a, whoops, a pirate who? Pirate ninja. It's a unit of power. N ninja's a pirate now? Okay. Is one kilowatt hour per Martian day. And it is about 40 and a half watts. Oh, no. And then when we're talking like, you know, um, standard international units, right? Yeah. <laughs> At least... We're using metric stuff because I would have been so confused if it's on imperial, like insanely confused. Yeah, watts. Like I don't know, Newton is like kilograms times meter per second squared. You know, it's it's easy to remember rather than like yeah. I don't know pounds per uh, foot per uh, U.S. second or something. Like it's it's gonna be so confusing. Well, um. Normally, we use watts, which is metric system, I believe. Although, yeah. occasionally, when it but comes to like cars, we use horsepower, which one ah. horsepower is about 550 foot-pounds per second. <laughs> yeah, here, here, here you go again. Here you go again. <laughs> Whose horse are we using? The king's horse? Your horse? That farm horse? Or this small horse? Or the baby horse? Or that or that horse right there? Or that horse right there you can see right there? Or this big horse? Or that small horse down below? <laughs> I don't know, but one donkey power is about a third of that. <laughs> Did you know Pain. horses? Horses have about 15 horsepower. <laughs> wait, I'm sorry. Wait, so w w what? So that... <laughs> huh? So horse... If... if Huh? I'm sorry. Wait. If one horse has 15 horsepowers, then that means <laughs> one horsepower has 15 horse. Huh? One horsepower is a fifteenth of a horse. Oh, one horse is a fifth. <laughs> wait, wait. Then it, that's, it's got to be a slow horse then. Or a very frail horse. A fifteenth the strength or, of a normal horse. Oh, uh, but huh? What? <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm just so confused. So power of the okay. metric. Cars are using horsepower, right? When they could have used not all the time, but what? Yeah, yeah. but it's yeah. still so confusing. Like, oh, imagine that car. That car is pulled by ten thousand horses. I can't imagine that. That's a lot <laughs> that's of horses. A, that's a lot of horses. If it makes you feel better, we Americans do use the metric system for a few things. Yeah, um, what, what, watts. All of we them? use watts. Uh, mm -hmm. We also use millimeters for measuring um, ammunition and guns. Ah, uh, yeah, the 9mm, but yeah. luckily they don't use, like, the the 3-inch the, the uh, pistol, you see? 3-inch uh, pistol. <laughs> the, that just sounds wrong. <laughs> the, uh, the 54 foot magnum, wait, that's big, actually. The, the 1 foot magnum. Maybe even a whole Mickey. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's so in the problem is so inconsistent, right? Because if I <laughs> here, if I how many 
miles are there? How many miles are there? Like how many? Like is there, is there different miles? Oh, how many kinds of miles? I'm like, yeah. You realize miles is a unit of distance. Not it's not a quantity thing. <laughs> there are seven hundred miles exactly. It's also not a, a, the name of the guy named Miles. You know. So, so, so. Yeah, I have no Okay, idea we have a statute are. mile. You see. A statute mile. Normally oh, refers okay. to survey mile about. 3.219 millimeters or one eighth of an inch longer than the international mile, which is exactly 0.002% less than the US survey mile. I know nothing of that, but uh, yeah, sure. Do you have dozens? We do, which is, you know, 12. You sell eggs in dozens? Do you have baker's dozens, though? Ye huh? I'm <laughs> sorry? <laughs> baker's Another dozen. one? A different dozen? Yeah. So okay. a dozen is 12. You know, everybody knows that. Baker's dozen is 13, because the baker makes one more for himself. Ah, That's an actual measure. I think I've heard of this somewhere. I've heard of this somewhere. <laughs> and we haven't even touched on football fields. Ah. Ah. You mean soccer or American football? Wait. <laughs> oh, right. There's two types of football, isn't there? <laughs> I forgot. You see, anything you say, uh, Americans have a different version of everything. Like, we're just that cool. You want football but play with your hands? We got one for you. Yeah, that, that is kind of weird. Um, I always assumed it's because the football is the shape of someone's foot if they get stung by a bee. Huh? Yep. No, 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 no. It might just be I a foot long. It's named football because, because in a game where you mainly use your hand, you kick it once. Maybe that's why. That's true. You kick it occasionally. Yeah, you, once every lifetime. That is a fact. Kick it once. And now it's in football. And then you have soccer, which is also football, mainly using your foot. I mean, you can use your head to like bounce the ball, but you mainly use your foot. Yeah. And that makes football sense. Football is much more accurate for soccer, like name-wise, than American football. Uh -huh. Yeah, if, if someone mentioned to me, oh, I love that football show. I'm like, which football are we talking about here? <laughs> the handball or the foot football? <laughs> if it was in the United States... You would. You should always assume it is American football running around in like your body armor with your football. Yeah, everyone's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, full body armor, ready to ramp. We love the, the beavers. Yeah. <laughs> oh um, no. Although if, no. if you're outside of the U.S. and someone says football, you should assume they're going to be wearing like shorts and jerseys. And they're going to be kicking this little um, um, black and white ball, or actually a lot of balls are really colorful now. Um, Mm -hmm. around the field and if they like if someone bumps them then they'll collapse the ground and pretend they're dying that's how you know <laughs> which one yeah. it is pretending to fall and like foul yellow oh, card oh, beep oh <laughs> uh, just diving down there yeah and football feels right in if i open my old school books you know like some of our school books are imported from american or yeah singaporean or like basically other countries because you know, clearly you guys know better about education than we do. But the problem is when we're like going to measuring stuff, right? And then there's, it comes up football fields. And we're like, hmm. Oh, yeah. Right. Or like the length football of a school fields. bus. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and then we use the length. A giant squid is two and a half school buses long. Like, what standards of the school? Because our, we have, we do have a school bus app here, but it's like tiny, like not very big. So, yeah, we have pretty big school buses. <laughs> yeah, like what school school bus? Like, uh, and you know, school buses are mostly I think I think are mostly free and government controlled. Yeah, same but here. there are some school bus or something like that uh, that are you know for private um college that you know is yeah. well um I, my school doesn't have that but you know it it exists in some places. I know a guy who owns a school bus. Who's that? Uh, it's just a family friend. He painted it black, but he owns one. Oh, I thought you were going to say, like, Miss Frizzle or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> Miss Frizzle. Do you know Miss Frizzle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Magic School that. Bus. Magic Let's go. School Bus. That, that was my, one of my favorite shows back in the day. My yeah. gosh. Free fire. And we're, we're already starting to go off topic here. <laughs> Oh uh, no no no! But yeah, that 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 measurements is confusing, especially if you, if I'm doing like my physics project, right? Um, mm -hmm. because like the teacher like sometimes asks us to do or like see the book for reference, and then yeah. explains uh also explains to us like how to do it. He explains to us mm -hmm. you know in a more brief and fast way, 
um, using the metric system. Of course. And then we look into the book, and it's the imperial system. So. And you're like, no curses. <laughs> no curse, you imperial system. <laughs> it's, like, oh, it's so annoying. Americans. We, we're so used to measuring with centimeters and, like, yes. basically all the uh, metric system. And, okay. Yeah. We need to cut that cut board into three and a half inch and then the width of two, two out of eight inch. How do you two out of eight inch again? <laughs> and what is so, an inch? Sometimes you just, uh, like, fold it up. So fold it once, it's half. Fold it again. Yeah. Now it's, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 about it. I think about measuring stuff, and then we also have. Let's see, what Indonesian weird systems do we have? Let me look it up. Have you heard of a fathom? A what? Fathom. Oh, no. Why? It's one point eight meters. Where did it come from? <laughs> uh, a fathom. It's like uh, they use it a lot in um, what's the word? Sailing. That's the word. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Um, but oh. They would go like, um, they would have like really long ropes and they would use it to measure the distance to the ocean floor. That's why you hear a lot of like, um, fathoms and nautical terms. Like, uh, if you've seen The Little Mermaid, they have a song with like mysterious fathoms below, and that's why it's fathoms. Oh, I see. Okay, I just looked it up. Apparently, we Indonesians also have weird metrics. Sorry. Systems of measuring before the metric system, you see. Ah. So, before the French and the, uh, the colonization, which we can talk about in another topic, came to, to, came to be in our country, we have a lot of um, questionable <laughs> measuring system. For example, of length. Course. We have hasta or depa. Uh, so, hasta is... Um, how do I say this? It's like your your lower arm's length before your fist. From your elbow. Oh, your forearm? Is that what it's called? English? I can speak English. Yeah, yeah forearm, definitely. Uh, yeah, your forearm, that's mm. one hasta. And then... Okay. Um, one hasta is a fourth of a depa. And... <laughs> oh, well... Uh, half of a depa is one kilan, which is, you know, length, obviously. I yeah, clearly know that. Obviously. And then for um, mass, <laughs> we have... Uh, one tile. One tile is one out of sixteen hundred picol. <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay. And then we have one kati. One kati is one out of one hundred picol. Okay. Which is equals to one kabi, and uh, not quite exactly, but uh, one kulak is zero point zero seven two five picol, and picol itself is half of an amat. It's happening. <laughs> Oh, uh, no. And then we have Kojang, which is uh, used in Batavia or the old Jakarta in the colonization times, which we can talk again uh, later. Yeah. Uh, one Kojang is 27 picol or around 1,667.555 kilograms. Very precise. As you do, yep. Yeah, you like to see it. And then we can measure, we can measure opium, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> one T... Is one of one out of the tenth tile, and one cembang mata is one out of one thousand. Th- I'm not even gonna bother reading the rest of these. My gosh, <laughs> <There's a lot. laughs> every single part of our country has their own measuring system. Okay, you are just like us. Oh yeah, the thing with the oh. forearm. Oh, there's also a. Uh... These are a combination of old Dutch and also the uh, hundreds of kingdoms that existed before col- colonization. Oh, and you love learning about kingdoms. Interesting. Yeah, definitely. We'll talk about kingdoms also in another episode. But my gosh, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can send you the Wikipedia link. This is, I mean, totally. Wikipedia is the most trusted source, obviously. And as you can see right here. To be honest, yeah. There's a lot. A, a real, like a real lot. Oh, no. oh, like there's you have units for, for precious Java. metals. Yeah, one some for Sumatra, one for well, basically everything. Oh my gosh, you're like dry systems, liquid systems. This is great. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to talk about measurement system anymore. Um, Sid. <laughs> so I think I think we should end that episode there. What do you think? I think. That first, I need to say, um, there's also, like, span, 
which is from your elbow to your fingertips, you know, roughly. Oh. And oh, okay. Uh, or that's a cubit. And then the span. The span is the length of your hand. And then we use dishwashers as a sign of a uh, uh, volume. It's like seven dishwashers. That's how big this hole is, you know. Okay. Or you know things like that. You know, very interesting. There's things for you to stew on. But clearly, thank you, listeners, for dropping by to listen to Crossing Borders. This has been Sid and Josh. Don't forget to grab your passports on your way out. And we hope to see you next time in episode five, which is actually a uh, special episode. Special episode. So, yeah, you guys look out for that. All right. Every fifth episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.